First on the list is Sniper. Now the cool thing about Sniper is that it's packed full of really cool features. Two features that I like about Sniper is its ability to enumerate and also scan for vulnerabilities. I'd recommend Sniper for all students, particularly those who are studying OSCP. Now, if you were to use Sniper with Metasploit or Nessus, then you could create a really effective open source intelligent tool. Also, if you're interested, I interviewed the developer of Sniper. For more information on that, just see the comments below. So the second tool on my list is John the Ripper. This tool is old school and it has a really loyal following. Consider this tool as your go-to tool for offline brute force cracking. For example, being able to crack passwords on encrypted zip folders. Third on my list is THC Hydra. This tool is like John the Ripper, but it's for online targets instead. Hydra is really effective at hacking WordPress, for example, by using brute force dictionary attacks. The tool supports a wide range of protocols like POP3, IMAP, and a wide variety of databases. Also, I should add that I've interviewed the developer as well, so for more on that, just check the comments below. Fourth on my list is Kane Enable. This tool, which is commonly known as simply Kane, is a tool which was set up originally to recover lost passwords on Windows systems. However, it's also used for off-label attacks in cracking passwords. This tool also uses network packet sniffing and it's able to crack password hashes using dictionary attacks, as well as brute force rainbow table attacks and a lot more. Now, fifth on the list is Metasploit. This tool, in my opinion, is the mother of all hacking tools. The reason why I say that is because it contains a gigantic resource of exploits, which you can deploy payloads into vulnerabilities. Think of Metasploit like a collection of hacking tools and frameworks. In summary, Metasploit is a must-learn hacking tool. Number six on the list is Multigo. This tool is a highly effective social engineering tool that really, in summary, is able to deliver a whole picture of what's out there on the landscape. So really, what the tool can do is it can locate and aggregate and visualize all the data that you need to start hacking. In summary, it's a superb open source intelligent cybersecurity tool. Number seven, OASP Zap. This tool is supported by OASP, which is an organization which finds and catalogues vulnerabilities of web applications. The tool contains a huge library of known exploits and hacks, as well as providing automated web application scanning. In summary, OASP Zap is really useful for penetration testing. Number eight is Wireshark. This very popular hacking tool even has its own conference called Sharkfest. Consider Wireshark like your go-to choice when it comes to monitoring network traffic. In summary, the tool is really, really good at being able to capture data packets, which you can then analyze later on. A very cool feature about Wireshark is its ability to have filters and color coding, which helps you organize the data. Number nine on the list is the Aircrack Suite. Now, this is a really popular Wi-Fi hacking tool. This tool spawned a generation of hackers on YouTube. It's used to crack dozens of wireless protocols. It's also worth mentioning that for it to be effective, you'll need some extra hardware. Number 10 is Nmap or Network Mapper. This tool is just as iconic as Metasploit or Wireshark. In fact, many tools that I've mentioned in my list also use Nmap for its port scanning abilities and it's also used for network discovery and security auditing. The tool works by checking for open ports and determining operating systems on the network and a lot more. Nmap works by using raw IP packets and creative ways to get information. It's also worth mentioning that Nmap also comes in a GUI version if you prefer to use a dashboard. 
that's known as Zenmap. Last but not least on my list is Nikto. This tool, like many others on my list, has a very loyal community of users. Nikto works by using the command line and it scans for vulnerabilities. It works by scanning web servers for dangerous files. Also, it scans for outdated server software and any other problems. Nikto, like many other tools on my list, searches against a database of thousands of known exploits. And that's it. Thanks very much for watching my video. For more information, hit up concise-courses.com for more information on hacking tools and also growth hacking SEO tools. Thanks for watching.